Greetings, y'all. So, I'm taking out the compost again. This is a bucket full of uh, kitchen scraps. Maybe one or two weeks worth of kitchen scraps. There's some paper in there, but for the most part, it's uh, just uh, plant matter. And these are the greens, the nitrogen source. Really, to balance all these greens, um, I'm going to need browns. And uh, the suggested ratio is to have three times as many browns or your carbon source as you have greens. So in this video, I'm going to show you a really awesome source of browns that you can get just from the forest. So I'm here in the beautiful forest behind my home, and I brought a bucket. And as you can see, there's a lot of fallen logs all around. And I find that with as fallen logs decay, they produce really nice, really beautiful, almost like soil. I mean, this is what makes up a lot of the forest soil is old, is old tree matter. And that, this is one of the best sources of uh, browns for compost. Um, most, most all browns just come from trees. And I put this right into my soil before, and I'm gonna use it in my compost to amend the greens. And as you can see, the tree it just breaks apart so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull out the inside of this rotting tree that's super super soft super moist um and put it in my bucket to bring back up to my compost check out who i found in the log it seems like this was somebody's home And what I love about using the inner bark of the trees is that this is a completely free resource. Just something that you can go to the forest and get. And it was really fun um, pe peeling out the inside of this, uh, this log and this uh, piece of the tree and seeing who lives inside. And I'm conscious that there's some living organisms that I may be transporting by taking this from the tree. But I'm pretty confident that they'll be happy in the compost bin too. So I'm back in my composter, and I wanted to point out that if you can see the white hairs right there, that's mycelium, and that's another great reason to use this forest compost resource because the mycelium will help break down the, um, the food and facilitate decomposition more quickly. Some of you may have heard of Hugel culture, which is a German uh, agricultural technique which uses um, logs, decaying logs from the forest to build up the soil for that exact reason for the mycelium. And also there's a bunch of insects in there and also I'm sure that there's a bunch of microorganisms which are going to help facilitate that decomposition and maybe produce the compost more quickly with more nutrients. Alright, well, thanks for watching and I hope this video helps you.